Human trafficking is happening here in Durham and across the province. The Durham Region Collaborative Human Trafficking Service Model is helping victims break the cycle. Here's our story. There are many myths that surround human trafficking. They create misconceptions that make us believe we would know when someone close to us was being trafficked. The truth is, sex trafficking doesn't only happen to people who are using drugs or have other risk factors. Traffickers target young people and build their trust. 50% of survivors of human trafficking report they were living at home while being trafficked. Victims of human trafficking are not locked up, but this doesn't mean they can just leave. How do you stop a crime that's invisible in our community? The Durham Region Human Trafficking Coalition has created a model that is making an impact. Our service model is multi-sectoral, survivor-informed, and built on collaboration. We are an integrated system. Victim Services, the Region of Durham's Ontario Works Team, and Durham Regional Police Services all working within our network of support agencies. Through education and partnership, we've recognized the signs of human trafficking and given victims the support they need to get help. Education is a big part of the solution. In Durham, we educate every grade 9 student about human trafficking and how it can start. By building awareness in youth, they're starting to recognize the signs. At the region, we looked at the ways that victims of human trafficking might use our services. Knowing that they may rely on financial support, we've trained our frontline team to identify the signs of human trafficking. We have human trafficking response teams in every local Ontario Works office in Durham. It's been hugely successful. We are the only Ontario Works team in the province using this model, but we've started training other municipalities. Often, when a victim of trafficking arrives at Ontario Works, they have nothing but the clothes on their backs. They may be leaving our office to go to safe emergency accommodation, the hospital, or a treatment centre. We send them off with a supply of hygiene products and some basic clothing items like pyjamas, socks, pants and a top. We make sure they have money for food and a cell phone to communicate with their supports. It is so important that we help them with their basic needs so they don't need to go back to their trafficker. The second key component to our solution is partnership. A survivor needs housing, mental health and addiction support, counselling, income and employment support. When these services are fragmented, they are hard to navigate. In Durham, we've changed that. Our coalition provides wraparound, personalized support, including crisis counseling, funds to support their basic needs. Even though many agencies are involved, we make sure our victims don't have to tell their story repeatedly. Using a model of partnership, our goal is to make sure that survivors of human trafficking don't fall through the cracks. I now work at Victim Services of Durham Region and I help other girls exactly like me. Together, with your support, we will prevent this from happening to your girls. Thank you. Thank, thank you.